Jankowski from Boise State University, and um, we've had kind of a, um, a slowly growing um, carpentries presence here at Boise State um, since I got my carpentries instructor certification a couple of years ago, and I've been um, an instructor trainer um, for the past couple of years, or I guess for the, about the past year as well. And um, we've got faculty from around 10 different units on campus that have been leaning into using the carpentries in some form. So we've got folks from biology, geosciences, mathematics, um, material science and engineering, mechanical engineering, uh, uh, and, and business and um, health sciences. And uh, researchers from all of these different disciplines are noticing that right, we need, our, our, our student researchers need the same foundational skills. And so um, we've been talking about um, how to try to provide those um, training opportunities, both with Carpentries workshops um, that are coordinated with our annual research and research computing um, workshop and that typically happens in January or February, um, plus kind of one-off trainings um, associated with either uh, uh, conferences that are happening on campus. So I think there was an immunology conference that happened in October um, where we had some biospecific trainings there. Um, and then kind of lab specific trainings um, uh, for folks that uh, want to level up um, for literacies specifically for their lab. And so we've been building out our um, uh, pool of software carpentry instructors on campus. We've got around 16-ish now, I think, both um, students uh, at the graduate level and faculty and postdocs. Um, and um, one of the things that has emerged from this growth in Carpentries activities is uh, a vertically integrated project on campus called um, Computing Across Campus that is uh, attempting to provide a place to help facilitate the, the, these community discussions um, and get students credit for it. So vertically integrated projects came out of Georgia Tech University and um, the, these are experiential learning courses that provides students with an opportunity to get um, experience in research labs, uh, get credit for that, um, and provide an opportunity for uh, faculty to provide these mentoring experiences and get students in the labs without having to uh, provide funding for them if they don't have funding for undergrads. And so um, the idea is that you've got uh, more senior students mentoring the, uh, the newer students that are coming in. And you build um, uh, a steady state of uh, both doing research and um, having training happen. And the Computing Across Campus Vertically Integrated Projects is now in its second year. So we've, had, we've got three semesters under our belt where we've um, we, we, um, used the Carpentries, you know, Bash, Git, Python um, set of lessons to onboard our students. Then we have discussions around um, modeling in general and modeling within their particular disciplines. The idea here is to help students see what exists, um, like to help, help solve the problem of knowing, um, learning about what you didn't know that you didn't know. So like, this is the place where we're trying to have students be like, whoa, 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 what was that? What did you just do? I didn't know that's a thing that biologists could do. Uh, that, that would solve my problem over here in material science. And um, uh, so far it's been pretty successful. We've had um, about 50 students from these 10 different disciplines um, take this vertically integrated projects course. Um, so it's starting to socialize the utility and the need for more carpentries training across campus. This year, um, Boise State signed up to be um, a uh, platinum member of the carpentries um, in exchange for, uh, so at a reduced price in exchange for um, building out our um, uh, uh, instructor training capacity. Myself and my student, Mike Henry, are two of the um, instructor trainers on campus that have been um, building that out. And so yeah, I guess we're in this interesting place of having both um, a lot of momentum and a lot of initial successes on campus. And we're trying to be mindful of how to scale that out responsibly um, and um, thinking about coordinating with um, other organizations in the Pacific Northwest for um, opportunities to, um, to make sure that our students that are getting trained have the computational resources at their fingertips that they need for doing their work um, uh, job opportunities uh, after they graduate and um, a place to continue um, uh, participating in the carpentries. And that feels super long-winded now, so I'm going to stop. That was perfect, Eric. Thank you so much. Um, Eric, did you have that final thing you wanted to add? Oh, sorry. 
Yeah, um, uh, something that came to mind uh, as uh, May and Patrick were talking was um, uh, we've got this. So in the state of Idaho, we've recently passed legislation that requires computer science standards to be included in K-12 curriculum across the state. And every high school needs in the state needs to offer at least one computer science course. And um, so at Boise State, we've got folks in the um, uh, College of Education that train these teachers that go out into Idaho to, um, to meet these curriculum standards. And one of our programs on campus is called I Do Teach, and that if you're a STEM major, it's kind of, it's, it's kind of like a minor. Um, so you take these additional I Do Teach courses and you're, you graduate um, with an uh, Idaho teaching certificate, so you can go teach in Idaho high schools and K-12, um, like right out, of, uh, right out of college. And um, so um, the, the folks from I Do Teach that run this program are like, how are we going to meet these computer science standards? Um, and I was like, well, this thing that we do over at Starfall Carpentry, like its point is to help people that don't feel like they're coders to get stuff done um, with computing. And the, um, like the idea is to, to make it an inclusive space for learning how to get stuff done. Um, with um, computing, so like the the pedagogical angle is the right approach to take for possibly training these teachers in I do teach, um, and um, and maybe more broadly through in the College of Education. And so um, we've got some um, conversations that have started around possibly hiring um, a carpentry's coordinator on campus. And I've got this um, crazy um, uh, mental model. I'm going to try to share. Uh, let's see, where is the Share screen. I can't find it. Um. It's at the bottom. It's green. Aha! It's it was a different color, so I like my brain couldn't parse it. Um, all right, let's share this one. Um, so like uh, this is this is this is my crazy gram um, that I drew um, when trying to make the case for like why we need this person on campus. Uh, but like in the middle is this carpentry's coordinator that doesn't exist. Um, that I'm trying to make the case for like being the the pivotal person that both like uh, helps coordinate the the workshops that we have on campus, the instructor training that we have on campus, the instructors that we actually have on campus. Like help somebody that like helps coordinate what they're doing, when they're doing it, like how all this stuff is happening um, because it serves so much around it. Um, so I've got my question marks for I do teach up at the top, that thing that I just mentioned, like we're not exactly sure like um, uh, what that might turn into, but like the, there's overlaps with our PhD in computing where the graduate students there benefit from becoming instructor trainer, uh, becoming um, carpentry's instructors for mentoring the students um, in our VIPs and with research computing. Like there's the clear connection with re research computing that we have that uh, uh, May and Patrick mentioned. Um, and then um, just the, like the, the broad reach of stuff on campus. And like right now, this is something that I'm kind of like doing on the side that like I'm not really um, uh, uh, g getting like extra points for. And so like, uh, this is something, this is one of my personal missions on campus is trying to create this position um, through hook or through crook. Um, to make my life better and the lives of everybody uh, around me better. <laughs> Thank you and so Eric, much. Oop. Go ahead, oh, Patrick. Sorry, and, sorry about that. Um, yeah, Eric, that's sort of my role here at Columbia. So if you uh, want to reach out and ask any questions or anything about that um, cool. or how that's worked out, uh, please feel free. Thank you, Patrick. I was just going to say, Eric, there are other organizations who uh, have gone through this and I will email you some of them um, if you'd like, if, it, if you think it would be helpful to talk to them um, specifically regarding metrics that may show that this strategy is effective um, for making the most of programs across campus. That'd be great. Thank you. Of course. Okay.